Hello everyone, welcome to another episode from KEDEXCEL. Today I am going to talk to you about the mass spectra of chlorine and bromine. So the one last video we discussed about the mass spectrometer, how it works. So today I am going to talk to you about how we can draw or how we can uh, construct the mass spectrum of chlorine sample and the bromine sample. This chlorine and the bromine are the two common examples they always have asked. So we will see how we can draw the mass spectra of chlorine and bromine. Now to begin with, first thing you have to understand the mass when we make draw the mass spectrum of a sample, the sample is bombarded with high energy electrons after it is been converted to the gas and then it forms positive ions and those positive ions are the one which accelerate. So if you take chlorine, you should know that chlorine has 35 isotope and chlorine has 37 isotopes and to draw this one we had to know the percentage abundance we know chlorine 35 is 75 percent chlorine 37 is 25 percent these are rough values not exact values so we get this 75 and 25 from the mass spectrometer but we had to to draw that one as i cannot show it practically how the mass spectrometer does give this sample these percentages we have to take the data from the mass spectrometer which is 75 and 25. So assuming we got those percentages from the mass spectrometer we will see how it would be the mass spectra <coughs> or mass spectrum for the chlorine sample. Now chlorine exists as Cl2 as I told you Cl Cl bond can be broken when it is bombarded with high energy electrons. So we will be having Cl2 and uh, once this break you can have Cl plus. So there are possibilities, we will see first what are those possibilities, how we call them as the fragmentation ions. So what I am going to draw first is the possible fragmentation ions you can get in the mass spectrum of chlorine. So assuming chlorine has two isotopes, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 we can assume that chlorine is going to form uh, Cl plus ions as well as Cl2 ions, Cl2 ions we call them as the uh, molecular ion peaks. So first we will draw them, so assuming chlorine has 75 percent and this so chlorine 37, 35 is uh, 75 percent, chlorine 37 is 25 percent. So, we take it as an example, right, chlorine 37 and 35, okay, I draw it here. Right. So, possible fragmentation ions, fragmentation ion, mass to charge value, m over z we say, since then I write the probability because why do we need probability? We always draw percentage intensity or relative intensity. So we have to see what is the probability of formation of that particular fragmentation ion. Now chlorine, right? This Cl Cl bond can be broken. So you can have a peak at Cl 35 plus. Mass is 35. Z is a charge which is plus 1. So value is 35. So what is the probability? We have chlorine 35 atoms 75 percent, which means 3 over 4 percent or 3 fourth is the chlorine 35. We can have chlorine 37 plus. 37 over plus 1 which is 37 which is 1 over 4. So this is a one possible way that chlorine can produce the ion chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 right. Now we can go for the molecular ion peaks 35, 35 everything plus the bond is not broken but it can remove only one electron. So 35, 35 is 70, 70 over charge is plus 1, you can have a peak at 70. So what is the probability now? 
3 over 4 into 3 over 4, 9 over 16. Then we can have chlorine, chlorine 37, 37 plus which is 74 over 1, ratio is 74, 1 over 4 into 1 over 4 which is 1 over 16. Then we can have chlorine, chlorine third one is 35, another one is 37 plus. So I am just writing these probable, probable ions. So if we take that as well, we will see, right, 35, 37 is 72 over plus 1. 3 over 4 into 1 over 4, you have 3 over 16. Again, you can have another one, Cl 37, 35 plus. So, the idea is electron can be removed from 37 chlorine atom or 35 chlorine atom. So, again, this value would be the same, 72 over plus 1. Here, it is the same, 1 over 4 into 3 over 4, 3 over 16. So, you have these two appear at the same point. So, we can add them. So, it comes as 6 over 16. These two comes as the same point. Why do they appear at the same point? Because chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 plus or chlorine 37 and chlorine 35 plus, they both give the same idea. So, you can have a peak at uh, the same place. So, these are our fragmentation ions with the ratio. 3 to 1 ratio is the when it breaks the bond. If not, you have 9 to 1 to 6 ratio. 16 is common. For 3 to 1 ratio is the one possible fragmentation ion. 9 to 1 to 6 ratio is another possible fragmentation ion. So, these two you have to get the idea. So, we will see how we can uh, use them to draw the mass spectra for chlorine. So, the rough idea you should have, the rough idea is 3 to 4, 3 to 1 is the 1 ratio with the chlorine atoms. When it does not break the bond, the possibility would be 9 to 1 to 6 ratio, 9 over 16, 1 over 16, 6 over 16, 16 is common. So, 9 to 1 to 6 ratio will be the probability of making the fragmentation ion. Now, I have taken only formation of plus 1 charge, but there can be a plus 2 charge as well, but here we are not going to consider it. So, if I take the percentage, okay, relative intensity, let us say, y axis I am writing relative intensity, the x axis is mass over charge. So, you have a peak at 35, you have a peak at 37, you have a peak at 70, 72 and 74. It is not into a specific uh, according to scale, I am just going to give you the idea how it would form. Now, 3 to 1 ratio is here. So, height should also be 3 is to 1, right. The height should also be 3 is to 1 because 3 to 4 ratio. So, 3 is to 1 is the height. So, can't see properly, so we will uh, draw it here again, 3 is to 1 ratio. So, that means the atom, the peak appears as 35 should be 3 times higher than 37. If I appears is like this, 1, 2, so 35 and 31 is height ratio. 3 is to 1. Now, height ratio of these 3 atoms, 3 C ions is 9 to 1 to 6. So, 70, let us say if I draw it to this time, I do not know whether it is exactly. So, 1, I mean you do not have to consider the height of this one and this one. You do not have to consider them. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, let us say 9. Then 72, will be 6 times and that is only 1. 
So, this one is height ratio of 9 to 6 to 1. So, which means you can draw any height but 9 to 6 to 1 ratio. Here you can draw any height but 3 to 1 ratio. Let us say you do this is relative intensity. If it is percentage intensity, you can put this one to 75 percent and 25 percent. This one to 90 percent to 60 percent to 10 percent or you can write 45 percent to 30 percent to 5 percent that is also the same. So, only thing you what matter is the height values 9 to 6 to 1 ratio should be the molecular and peak the last 3 peaks 3 is to 1 should be the uh, atom when they form Gl plus Cl uh, 35 and Cl plus 37. So, these are the two possible uh, these are the uh, possible fragmentation ions and how they appear. So, this is simply assuming you will have plus 1 charge very rarely you can have plus 2 charge. So, then there will be another peaks, but commonly you will be asked to draw plus 1 charge. So, here I circle them to just to give the idea if not the height ratio would be 9 to 6 to 1 height with 1 other one should be 3 to 1. So, this is the mass spectra of chlorine this is what you should obtain if you draw the mass spectrum of chlorine right. So, 9 to 6 to 1 ratio that is for molecular ion peak 3 is to 1 for the um, atoms or the ions by breaking the bonds right. So, I will try to put a picture of the exact mass spectrum of chlorine that is given from the internet. So, I put this one so you can see it will be the most commonly the same for this one right. So, this is the mass spectrum of chlorine. So, we will do one last thing that is for mass spectra for bromine. Now, the mass spectra of bromine is similar to chlorine in a way because it also have two common isotopes. The only thing is its uh, percentage heights are different sorry percentage abundance is different. So, we will see what it is. So, bromine has two isotopes bromine 79 with 50 percent and bromine 81 with 50 percent. So, now the percentage intensity is similar. So, we will see how it would be the mass spectrum. Now, if the percentage intensity is the same you can have bromine as earlier 79 plus that is uh, 79 over plus 1. Now, the intensity is relative intensity is half same as I am not drawing the table now 81 81 over plus 1 half which means 1 is to 1 ratio. So, the break in the bond right bromine Br Br break in the bonds you can have Br plus 79, Br plus 81 two possibilities. They have 1 to 1 ratio because percentage intensity would be the percentage abundance is the same for bromine. So, bromine 79 to bromine 81 1 is to 1 ratio you would have. Next you would have both bromine atom is 79, 79 plus which means 158. Now, it is half into half which is 1 over 4. Similarly, you can have Br, Br 81, 81 plus which is 162 over plus 1 half into half 1 over 4. The other possibility is Br, Br 1 is 79, other one is 81 and plus. You can have another peak Br, Br 79, 81, 1 is 80 uh, plus charge for the electron is removed from 79. So, here I will do it in a different way. So, it is 160 over plus 1. Now, here 1 over 4, 1 over 4 means total 2 over 4. So, total if you take the probability of having molecular NP is 1, 1 minus these two 1 over 4 into 1 over 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 will give you the remaining. So, 2 over 4 which means 1 is to <clears throat> 1 to 1 to 2 ratio is the height you have which means 160 should be 2 times higher than the 162 and 158. 
right. So, similarly you can take as I did earlier or you can just subtract from 1 and get <coughs> the remaining molecular ion, right. So, if I take it as a normal way, 81 and 79 plus 160 over 1, 104, 104. So, you have to have another same <coughs> value for this one. So, 2 over 4 is the final molecular ion. So, if you draw this again, similarly as earlier, <coughs> relative intensity mass over charge, right. So, relative intensity and mass over charge. So, there is a, there should be a peak at uh, 79, another peak at 81, 158, 160, 162. 79 and 81 should be the same height, same height because it is 1 is to 1. You do not have to know what is the height level value of height, the idea is. 79 and 81 should have 1 is to 1. Then 158 to 162 to 160 is 1 is to 2 is to 1 or 1, 1, 2. If 158 is this height, let us say this one, 164 is also, 162 also the same height, but the other one is 2 times of it, 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. So, that is how you get the mass spectra for bromine. So, chlorine and bromine for plus 1 charge, you can see there are total 5 peaks, right, assuming only plus 1 charge is formed. So, you have to remember this mass spectrum of bromine and the mass spectrum of chlorine and you have to have a rough idea at least how you get those uh, relative heights because relative heights are really important sometimes when asking the question. If you want to get a really good results, right to get a star at the end and to get a full marks for a paper, it is better to have everything cleared off. So, this is how we get the height, but uh, you can remember the mass spectra of chlorine and bromine. So, if you can memorize it, it is perfectly fine. If not, you have to remember how you would get the mass spectra. So, this is for chlorine and bromine, but the questions they have asked is different. Chlorine and bromine have asked many times. But they can ask different other stuff as well. They can ask PCL3, draw the molecule ion for PCL3. So, if you have PCL3, in that case, you have three different chlorine ions. All three can be 35, all three can be 37, 235, 137, 237, 135. So, you can have four molecule ion peaks. So, their percentage abundance would be different as well. So, those we can actually discuss when you revise and doing questions. But here, this is the theory part normally when we write the mass spectra of chlorine and bromine, right, okay. So, that is it, that is the video for today and if this is helpful, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.